have faith in God. Science says, have faith in God. And that is what I want to talk about tonight. That sign. Uh, first, I'm going to read some uh, Bible verses. There are many in the New Testament on the topic of faith. Hello, by the way, I hope everybody's doing well. I'm no longer working nights, so I've got time to do this. Um, on faith, uh, there's quite a bit written on faith in the New Testament, for good reason. It's, it's something we all need to have uh, as Christians. 2 Corinthians 4, verse 16 through 18 says, Therefore we do not lose heart, though outward, outwardly we are wasting away, yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but on what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. And that was 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 16 through 18. And James chapter 1 verse 12 says, Blessed is the one who perseveres under trial, because having stood the test, that person will receive the crown of life that the Lord has promised to those who love him. That was James chapter 1 verse 12. In the book of Proverbs in the Old Testament, we have an example on faith where it says in Proverbs chapter 3 verse Six, five and six, trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. That's Proverbs 3, verse 5 through 6. I'll read that one again. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not unto your own understanding. In all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight. In Matthew chapter 21, verse 22, And whatever you ask in prayer, you will receive, if you have faith. In Luke 1, chapter 1, verse 37, For nothing will be impossible with God. And in 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, For we walk by faith, not by sight. We walk by faith, not by sight. And that goes along with 2 Corinthians too, where it says, uh, I read that one already. We fix our eyes not on what is seen, but, but upon what is unseen, since what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Um, in the book of Romans, chapter 10, verse 17, so faith comes from hearing and hearing through the word of Christ. That's Romans 10, verse 17, in Hebrews chapter 11, verse 1. Now faith is the assurance of things hoped for, the conviction of things not seen. That's Hebrews 11, verse 1. And again in Hebrews 11, verse 6, And without faith it is impossible to please him, for whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists, and he rewards those who seek him. And again, that was in Hebrews 11, verse 6. I'm going to read it one more time. And without faith, it is impossible to please him in being God. For whoever would draw near to God must believe that he exists, and that he rewards those who seek him. And in Ephesians chapter 2, verses 8 to 9, For by grace you have been saved through faith. And this is not your own doing. It is the gift of God, not a result of works, so that no one may boast. No one. I think I've been guilty of that a few times. Not, not often. I think I'm pretty humble. 
I'm guilty of a lot more things than I even realize I'm finding. But um, Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 and 6. Oh, I already read that. Sorry. Matthew 17, verse 20. Jesus replied, Because you have so little faith, truly I tell you, if you have the faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible to you. I read that again. This is the last verse I'm going to read. In Matthew 17, verse 20, he, being Jesus, replied, Because you have so little faith, truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible to you. And thank you, Lord, for your word in this. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. And what led me to this was a sign coming home from work every morning. It started out light, then it got dark because I got into the winter, and my headlights would light up the sign. But when I'd drive home from work, I'd, it was a time for me to go through a lot of prayer, a lot of prayer on my drive home from work in the morning after working all night, about a 25-minute drive in good weather. And it's been pretty good this winter so far. But I got really, you know, I've hit some low points with... Uh, Losing Jen, and then my dog, and not having my mom around, lost her too, and you know that if you follow this channel at all. And I've got some other problems um, that I'm not, I don't go into everything on this channel, believe it or not. I've got some other problems, don't we all? I've got things, people, too, that have caused me to doubt myself but never did I doubt God never I've had people cause do some pretty harmful things and hurtful things to cause me to question myself and I know I know who I am and if I pray to God you know to illuminate me with his holy light and shine his holy light throughout my soul and being in my life and show me the dark places that I'm not seeing because we can't really see a lot all the time and he God always does you know and I found out he did that and I found out I've been kind of guilty of uh, judging people and sometimes it's hard not to judge people when people do you wrong you know you, you're supposed to forgive them and turn the other cheeks what I should have done is just say I'm not gonna judge you don't judge me or I could have handled it differently than say, hey, you make mistakes and bring up some things they've done that they don't want to hear about. When they, when they, you know, try to attack my character. Different things. I think it's just the devil trying to bring me down, quite frankly. Um, but I'm not perfect. Nobody is. And I've got flaws, and I trust God to illuminate those so that I can address them uh, because I you know I want to do his will and I want him to say well done but I've hit some low points driving home in my prayers where I'm saying like um, I'm quite emotional depressed and then suddenly I'm kind of lost in my prayers and my discussions with God and questioning myself, my own life, my path. I don't know where I'm going. I'm at a strange place in life where I'm completely alone. But I'm not alone. I never thought I was completely alone, honest. I felt like I'm in very good company uh, in ways lately, but alone in one sense. That's another topic. I trust God. But then my car headlights hit this sign. A town of Locke on my way home 
and I, I forget about the sign and then there it is and it says have faith in God and then I look at that and I read it I say say it I say it out loud have faith in God I tell myself say it again have faith in God again have faith in God again have faith in God like, what is faith? It's we just believe in God, believe it. Don't believe what you see with your eyes or what you hear with your ears. That's temper. Have faith in God, the eternal, and the power of God. And I, I feel better. It gets me through the trials. That's having faith in God. Gets me through the trials, the low, lowest points in my life. You know, when nobody seems to believe in you, and you're alone, and you know, people have turned their back on you, and you have faith in God to get you through the trials. And God is my family. And uh, that sign, um, you know, there's another Bible verse that says, faith without works is dead. Hey Google, what does the Bible say about faith without works? According to churchofjesuschrist.org, James chapter 2, God has chosen the poor of this world who are rich in faith. Salvation is gained by keeping the whole law. Faith without works is dead. One my brethren, A.H. Avenue, not... All right, thank you. Goes on. Hey Google, thank you. Sometimes he says something that's cute. Faith without works is dead. I mean, what works? Everybody has whatever works. You know, I've got this channel, but this is the only. Th I tell people about Christ too when I have the up when the up Jesus gives me the opportunity. But that sign that somebody put out in their front yard. It's white and it's facing right at the road, and they knew what they were doing when they put it out there, because they knew that our headlights would hit that coming around this bend and the blue letters are reflective paint and they light right up with your headlights have faith in God and they stay lit up for about 10 seconds if you're doing the speed limit there which is 30 there's a speed trap there too so locals do the speed limit there that means it's lit up in bright, beautiful blue letters. Have faith in God. And that those are works. I think those qualify as works. Just putting a sign up in your yard, a bumper sticker even. You know, you never know. You ever been behind a car and you read a bumper sticker that some of them are funny, some of them are more and more raunchy, political, and some of them are in poor taste. Now and then you see some Christian ones that have a Christian message and um, have faith in God. Around here, the Mennonites and uh, Amish, uh, they put signs out in their front yard with a Bible verse, something simple, something that you can read driving by, nothing, not a long passage, but one sentence, if even that. Oh, that's good. Um, sorry, that's good. I love tea. I love tea more than I like beer. Thank God for that. But those are, that's, that's works. That's, uh, I don't know what you call it, static, uh, passive. That's just a sign. It's just standing out there. And I took some pictures of it for this video. And I, you know, I wonder if the people there are wondering, what's he doing? I'm sure I'm not the only person that has been inspired by that. And there's probably been a number of atheists or haters that they don't like these things, but they can't make you take it down. It's not public land. And there's not that many haters around here either. But in some places, I think there are. But, you know, have faith in God. And that little sign has helped me through many a hard morning. Coming home from work. Wondering about, I miss 
my loved ones who have passed on. And then I thank God he has permitted them to get through to me with messages of love and hope and perseverance. I've been fortunate in that regard. But I still don't know. I've, you know, I'm, we're separated. And I've, it, you know how it is. Have faith in God. God knows. He's, God is a good, he's a just Lord. He's a merciful Lord. He loves us infinitely more than I could even comprehend. And all my loved ones who have passed on to the other side, except for one. I got to retell that story about my friend Buck, I think, but. God has them. He's, he's, a, he's got them. He's got this. Jesus Christ defeated death. Hey, Google. What does the Bible say about Jesus defeating death on the cross? According to Firebrand Magazine, God is not the God of the dead, but the living. Mark chapter 12, verse 27. Yet through his death, Jesus conquered death. That is the consistent witness of the New Testament. Exactly how this happened is a mystery, a truth so profound it transcends the capacities of human reason. Hey Google, thank you. Just doing my job. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know what the best is, kind of new technology, isn't it, right? I like it, I do like it, I must admit. I guess it's just like any other tool you could use it for good or for evil, but you know, I know there's, I'm familiar with the Bible verses, and uh, I know that he's he's not reading anything wrong here. I'm familiar with them. If I wasn't familiar with them, I'd look them up myself. But I know what they say. I just like hearing him read it. My, my brother Google, brother Google. Hey Google, what's your name? As you might have heard. My nickname is the Google Assistant. Do you want a cool nickname too? Yes. Excellent. I'll just use it this one time. Try to remember it. Anyway, would you like a short one or a fancy one? How about a short one? Short? Okay. Like something crowds might chant in a stadium. I think I have the perfect name. It's Dongo. That name is so you. It's hard to think of you any other way now. What do you say? Do you like it? Hey, Google, go away. Thank you. <laughs> Come on, tell me what you think. Do you like it or not? Not. I don't like it. That's too bad. They can't all be winners. Do you want to try a new one? You should really take advantage of my Sorry. free nickname service. Hey, Google. Uh, just let's hear a new one I'm not sure what you mean should we keep going no got it come sorry about that distraction I wanted to share that with you that sign that uh, illuminated me when I needed it I almost felt like going there and talking to the people in the house uh, during daytime and uh, thanking them for that but I probably won't probably won't so have faith in God and uh, I think that sign putting that sign out there was it was very deliberate with the reflective paint and it pointed right at where the headlights would hit it coming around the curve very well done wasn't random, you know, and that's a good example of faith in work, you know, faith at work, you know, but, uh, so, all right, oops, I've been a bit of a mess lately, I'll get through, I guess that's all, I just wanted to share that with you, God bless you each, keep the faith.
Have faith in God.